time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, January 12th. Hope everybody's having a good day. Mr. SPX had a little fallout this morning down to the expected move lower level, bounced, retested it again, bounced, and then got a little choppy here the last 30 minutes or so. S&P currently basically unchanged, NASDAQ basically unchanged, Russell down about a quarter percent, Dow down almost a half percent, gold up one and a half, silver up over two and a half, notes and bonds slightly green, 10-year yield down a half percent, oil up one percent, natty gas big bounce up seven and a half percent, grains a little bit red, euro and the pound slightly red, and Bitcoin on the heels of the ETF at least down 6%. And Crean, I think it was Crean who mentioned it right after it came out. Price dropped. Classic, buy the rumor, sell the news. So for power hour, tranche numero uno. Looks like we'll be at a... Uh, at least at the current price, looks like we'll be at a full boat straddle. So I'll be going full size. <clears throat> Had two bot trades today. Zero DTE. <clears throat> One was DKS at 40% and my AM ratio from this morning hit 50%. So, so far, so good. Time for power hour to take us home. Did a couple other kind of re-entry chat-ish like trades. Uh, first one got stopped out. Second one hit all three profit targets. And I'm currently in a 90.85 that I got in a little bit before this drop. Tranche number one will come in at 56.30, so here in about three minutes. Yeah, I took I took my normal Friday AM trade at the open, yep. VIX is currently at 12.53. Had a little run up when SPX was dropping, and then it's just been kind of contracting since then. No, my my AM did not stop out. I mean, it was uh, yeah. It, even when price pushed all the way down to the expected move, it wasn't. I mean, it was underwater a decent amount, but it wasn't. It didn't come close to getting it stopped. When I say didn't come close, it was probably, I don't know. Closest I saw it come to the stop was maybe five bucks away as far as my my the current price versus my stop. My AM, I got in on the 75s and 15s and I got filled at 1765 on a three to two ratio.
So tranche number one here in about a minute and a half. Looking like the 80 straddle if we hold here. On my, um, so I've got a pretty decent sized stop on mine. I've got a, uh, yeah, $25 trailing stop on my AM trade. SPX coming down a little bit to 78. There comes tranche one filled at 785 and that's on the 80 straddle. Yeah, I'm going to do a, uh, here in about 15 minutes, I'm going to do a four, seven and a six, seven. Then I'm going to do the four, five double diagonal. And then I might do the five, seven at the money version towards the end of the day. So tranche one eighty straddle got filled at seven eighty five. So four seventy will be where I reduce my stop. Yeah, I'm going to Vegas Michelle, I'm going to do them. The ones I just mentioned, I'm just going to go light. I'm just going to go light position size. It's not a uh it because it's a uh, you know, it's not as it the volume's not going to be light like it is Christmas, New Year's type stuff, but I'll still go a little bit light. No six seven linked. There should be. I apologize if it's not. Yeah, it's there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I got my trail on my AM. I got my trailing stop down to 20. Cosmo. So I don't know if you got it just at a different, a little bit different time, different strikes or what it might've been. Mine got in at 931.29. 
for 1765. SPX hanging around seventy eight. My four seven is a twenty five delta. Yeah, I'm going to go a little little bit light cuz it's a short week. Well, yesterday we got smoked or I got smoked on tranche 1. Made it all back plus some on tranche 2 and 3. Let's just can we just end the week with a a three win power hour. Is that really too much to ask? A three bagger. I just need a three bagger to feel good about going into the weekend. I mean, they're taking Monday away. So the least they could do is give us a three bagger to end. So I'm not going to enter quite yet, but for my four seven, looks like I'll probably go with the 4,800 and the 4,755s. Looks like it's trading around 1950 right now. I'll give it about 10 minutes before I enter.
So I know we got some new folks here. Just kind of recap what I mentioned yesterday on the live stream as well, if you didn't hear. So, you know, we've obviously built up a lot of content and a pretty, you know, massive library. So when you come in and you're brand new, this, you know, our Discord probably seems a bit overwhelming. So if you're new, the first thing I would encourage you to do is go to the Zero DTE course channel and scroll up a little bit until you find this new member Zero DTE checklist. And so I kind of outline step by step how I would start if you're if you're trying to just get started. Watch the foundational strategy videos here in the Zero DTE course channel. So there's a Power Hour course, there's a AM Iron Condor course, and these are really just foundational ways that that I trade. Um, I've changed and tweaked some different things around how I trade, and that can be found in the in the Trade Plans channel. So every month, I I put out exactly how I'll be trading zero DTE, all the strategies, the criteria, the position size, all that stuff is in the in the uh, trades uh, Trade Plans channel, along with a bunch of other folks' trade plans, which are awesome. Uh, number three, get an option Omega subscription uh, to do your back testing. Attend the live streams like you are now. Practice, practice, practice. Paper trading or SPY. If you want to have a little skin in the game, SPY is a great practice symbol. And then from there, you're going to start building and creating your own trade plan around your position size, your risk tolerance, time of day, all that good stuff. So that is the, uh, it's kind of the step-by-step -step how to get started. And then as we, you know, as we stream every day, as you, as you can see, once we get in our positions, there's a lot of time to just kind of chat. So any questions or comments or things that you need to help fill in the gaps, that's what we're here for. Uh, Disco, are there slides or examples on here of setting up iron condors in TS? Is that trade steward or toss? Trade steward. Okay. So I haven't intentionally, I haven't done any videos or anything yet on trade steward just because I haven't been using trade steward that long. So there, there's still some nuances and things that I want to kind of work through, but I will be putting out some content on those. I just, I haven't yet. We do have a trade steward channel um, up above. If you scroll up under the automated trading header um, and, uh, and, and folks have posted there, uh, trade steward has a good discord as well. Um, but to answer your initial question, no, I have not put out anything about how to set those up. I will tell you that um if you have a strategy that uses multiple profit targets, you basically have to create multiple bots. So I have several of those strategies where, um, where I have multiple profit targets and then I want to ratchet down the stop. So that's actually done with a couple of different bots. It, they trade through it. It doesn't have the capability to have multiple profit targets on one bot yet. So if you wanted to take profits at 40% and 80%, which is something I do on a couple, it's just it's two different bots, one set up at 40 and one set up at 80. And I, I would also say in, in relation to automated trading and trade steward, I would, I'd highly suggest that if you're just getting started, you know, bots are all the craze, right? Automation, just done for you type thing. But I would, I'd highly suggest that you manually trade a strategy for a while before you even consider automating. Yeah, I kind of wondered that too, Meech. 
because his subscriptions are based on number of bots, he may not ever create it, the ability to use multiple profit targets with one bot. I don't know that for sure. I don't know if that's more of a back-end logistical nightmare or if it's because he'd rather you just create more bots. Chad, another standard $8,000 day. Just like clockwork. <laughs> Twenty wins, four losses on the week for plus thirty k. Very nice. I can't say that my week was a plus thirty k. In fact, my, I haven't. I'll do my weekly video update today, but I think I think my uh, I think I'm the other way. I think I'm probably negative thirty k on the week. <laughs> yeah, this is this has been this first couple weeks of the year has been a uh, not a solid start for me. Yeah, basically, Chad took my 30K. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, if you lost money this week, just blame Chad. He He basically took it. But the way I trade, literally a couple, couple good days could get me back, back in action. It's not the way I wanted to start the year, but hopefully, the next couple weeks are better. I don't know about that, Jake. I mean, I, I led the horse to water, but Chad's drinking pretty good. All right, here comes tranche two, filled at 495. And that would be on the 75 puts, 80 calls, so five wide. Four ninety five. That doesn't look like a very good fill. Hmm. That is what it is. Filled at four ninety five. Yeah, looking at the option chain, I I would have thought I got filled closer to something like that, Marl, five ten or something.
So next week, Monday closed. Still have the World Economic Forum meetings going on. Uh, Empire State Manufacturing, pre-market Tuesday, retail sales, pre-market Wednesday, unemployment, pre-market Thursday, consumer sentiment, 30 minutes after the market opens on Friday. And I got to get in my 4.7 and my Posted my four seven in the calendar channel. Build on my six seven. All right, just posted my four seven and six seven. SPX still grinding lower. Welcome, David Trade 12. New to zero DTE, just put on your first trade in SPX. Very nice. How do you monitor how profitable the trade is? Are you what broker are you using? I if you're on toss, I always just view the uh, analyze risk profile graph like I'm doing here. You can just hover your mouse over it as it moves around where price is. It kind of gives you the indication of how much you're up. That's a good question, Mauro. You got a bed for me in Italy? You got a room for me? Nice. Um, so let's see. So I'm, I've already got some trips scheduled. Um, I'll be in uh, Newport Beach. And then... Um, Got a cruise, Caribbean cruise scheduled in July. And um, and then Mexico in September is what I've got scheduled so far. So I do want to, uh, I do, I do, I've never been to Italy. I, I would, I, I'm definitely going to make that happen sometime soon. Yes, good Wi-Fi. That's key.
Yeah, the only the only I've only spent time a little, and it was just not very long. It was in um, Spain. It was really I have not spent much time at all in Europe. Spain and Morocco. So I was, I was in Morocco, and then I went across the Strait of Gibraltar, and and was in Spain for a while. But that was a long time ago. Naughty dog, you don't you don't like the bone broth? Huh. I like it. You, it says you only want to mix it with about eight ounces of water though. Cause otherwise it's too watered down. So I usually I have like a carton of some other other stuff. So I add that and because I like to make about I don't know, twelve or sixteen ounces, but no, I like it. Tell you what, the best though. My wife made some, made some from uh, actually got some bones from a local farmer, and made it. That was by far the best. Tranche one is at the 80 straddle. Tranche two is at 75, 80. So I'd prefer to stay above 75 here. I do have a uh, Chad trade that's going to get stopped out here shortly. Stops at 11.35. That one's trading at 10.30. So that one definitely needs a bounce. There's that one stopped. All right, so I just got my tranche one and two for power hour. Tranche three is going to be coming in shortly. Tranche three looks like it maybe could be 10 wide if we get in now. Let's see where this settles in. Tranche three coming in on the 80s, 70s. Canceling, replacing, trying to get filled, filled at 465. 70, 80s, two to one.
Let me set a little reminder for my four five. I'll do that at two forty five. Few other positions here. I've got my Euro short premium. Still well centered. <clears throat> got an ES hedgehog that's up a couple hundred. Got a couple MES short premiums. That one's profitable after adjustments. This one I just put on. QQQ, nice and centered. That one's up about 27 ish percent. Got a few ducks that are all doing good. My time flies down a couple hundred. All right, so 75 to 80 is the sweet spot. 80, closer to 80, prefer preferably. The old hockey stick. I uh, traded some ES a little bit today on the futures. Um, I got in basically after we bounced off the expected move the first time. I came down, I added, and then took some off. It was looking nice, and then it came back down. I'm just up a little bit. Still holding. Thought after we kind of held above the expected move, we might grind higher, which it looked like that was the case there for a while, but then it Kind of fell apart. Meech, can you post mine, uh, January? It's basically just the reverse of that, just like an upside down hockey stick. Can you post that? <laughs> Early indication, 370 million buy side.
There it is. Well, you got to kind of flip it too. <laughs> no, I'm not proud of it. I'm coming. I'm coming for it. I'm coming for SPX. He's, he got me the first couple weeks, but I'll be back. I'll be back. Tranche one's up 25%, tranche two's up 18, and tranche three's up 17. So tranche two, I got in at 495. Three bucks. I'll reduce my uh, tranche two. Sure does feel like a long time ago. VIX popped above 23 and went straight to 12. Uh, Cody, that is not a dumb question. That is a dumb thing that thinkorswim does for some reason. So what you want to do is go up into your, uh, if you're looking at my screen, go up into the setup in the upper right-hand corner. Click on that. Click on application settings. Go to... Um, go to... display on the left-hand column and then check this little box it says show underlying symbols instead of option symbols so you got to check that and that'll uh that'll fix that issue for whatever reason by default that box is unchecked so it shows all the options in your current instead of the symbols All right, tranche one up to 30%. I'm looking for 40% to reduce my stop. PN, I'm sure Mauro knows the answer to that. I've heard him talk about that before. But yeah, that's uh, kind of a uh, something you got to work around. I don't. I don't use IB, but several folks here do, so maybe they can help.
Also, PN, if you're not aware, we do have a IBKR channel where uh, there's some stuff you can scroll through. If you go up to, um, it's a thread. Kind of disappears after nobody's been typing in it for a while, but um, there you go. All right, SPX hanging around 80. So that that's a thread in the trader chat channel. So if you go to Trader Chat and then you click on this little spool, this little th it'll display the threads. Interactive Brokers is one. Thinkorswim is one. Um, Thinkorswim Analyze, and then something else. All right, so tranche one's at about 30%, tranche two at 20%, tranche three at about 17. That's a beautiful sight, Ken. When you see that, it's just, it's beautiful. Your colors are different than mine. Can you change these colors? I've got more of a teal and a pink. You got more of a green and a purple. Still 370 million to the buy side on the early indication. Uh, my re entry iron condors. Um, they've been they've been good. Um, but again, I just kind of use them as more discretionary. And so I think probably what I'll do is instead of just having those kind of turn on randomly, I think I, I'll probably just continue to um, use, you know, kind of more of a Chad price action strategy to, you know, look for a push and then consolidation and, and do that instead of my bot re-entries. I didn't do any re-entries today.
Oh, sorry, Andrew K. I missed, I missed that. Um, yeah, so I, I was, I was familiar with the concept of it, but it wasn't until I started looking at financial juice and I saw that they reported it. I never really had a good source that, that reported it like, like they do live, you know, kind of the early indications. And so, um, you know, once I, once I started watching financial juice, it kind of got me to thinking if a, it was something that we could use for power hour. And then I, you know, just kind of started watching it. I put together that sheet and the, that I did in the little course. And, and so it's just been something I've been watching a lot closer since I started using financial juice. Still hanging around 80, which is good. 4780. Mm -hmm. Trunch one's at 37%, getting close to 40. It's trading at five bucks. I need 470. And it's almost time for my four or five. So there's my four or five double diagonal.
All right, just posted my four or five. All right, Mr. SPX, getting a little excited to the upside. A little too excited to the upside. All right, so market on close and balance is coming out in about three minutes. Uh, David trade, if you go down to the bottom here and, and click on your, uh, on your order book and just, and change this drop down to working orders or, um, if you don't have a working order, I guess you, you can just highlight, highlight the strikes on your analyze tab here that you want to, that you want to close. So if I wanted to close this one, I'd hit that one and then shift click that one and then you can do right click create closing order and then just click buy it back Corrado Fantini welcome welcome Uh, we sent out the email link. It's not in Discord, but it, it's a it. That's just a high level overview of of zero DTE stuff. If you go to the zero DTE course channel, which is two channels up from here where you're at, those that's where the actual detailed strategy courses are. Yeah, reduce stop on tranche one, and I'm getting ready for the market on close number. Which hopefully is nothing. One billion buy side. So I won't, I'm not going to do an MOC trade. Nothing under three billion. So I reduced my stop on tranche one. Didn't quite, haven't gotten, gotten there on tranche two yet. Front two is on the 80 and 75 strike, so I need to get below 80 on that one. Getting close. If we come down a little bit more.
just a little bit lower. There we go. So tranche one is a straddle. So I'm going to take that off five minutes till the bell. Tranche two is five wide, tranche three is 10 wide. Those, those both need a little bit of a down move though. So I'll make a decision within the last five minutes on when to close those. I, I do not reduce my stop on tranche three. Lasoza. We could uh, just snuggle back down to Mr. Forty Seven Eighty. That'd be preferred. A little over a minute until I bail on tranche one. No, going the wrong way. That's the wrong way. There's a stop sign up there. You got to go turn around, go back down. All right, so getting out of tranche one. Let's see if we can get a little drift lower up. Close out tranche two and three. Still going the wrong way. Now tranche two and three just went red. Tranche two just gets stopped. Oh no. Still in tranche two and three. They just went slightly red. Oh, I did get stopped at a tranche two after I reduced the stop. So minus 650 on tranche two. Still in tranche three. Would like to get down closer to 80.
under 80 would be beautiful. Yeah, Corrado, it's it's not like I said, it's not that was just a overview of zero DTE that I did. So you were emailed that link. That's not in Discord. But you have access to the step by step strategy courses in the zero DTE course. You don't I don't know, unless you're looking for something specific from that presentation. Maybe, maybe Corrado's not on the live stream. All right, two and a half minutes to go. SPX currently at 47.83. He's a little move lower. Minute and a half. No, it's not going low or it's going the wrong way. A little less than a minute. Hovering right around my break even. Now pushing above. Thirty seconds. There you go. I like I like the color red. That's what I was looking for. A little bit more. A little bit more. Bell in three seconds. Settling in a little bit of a markup. Eighty three, eighty five. So it looks like I'll make about 500 on tranche three. So tranche three and tranche one were winners, 2,500 on tranche one, minus 650 on tranche two, and then plus it'll be end up being about 500 when it settles. Uh, DKS 40% and my AM winner. So green day to head into the long weekend, my friends. So uh, make sure you check the live stream channel. So next week, uh, obviously the Monday, Monday, the market's closed. Uh, the rest of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Chad will be streaming live in the morning, but we won't be streaming live for power hour. Although uh, depending on what happens with Chad's doctor visit and his voice, Chad may be running the uh, power hour next week. So keep an eye on that schedule. We'll update you there. And everybody have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.